Thank you for staying tuned to Sadhna. For the Divine Life Society, the peace of God pervades the entire earth, everywhere, without and within. It is the one great truth underlying all things, ever present, ever accessible and available, ever full and inexhaustible. Sadhna traveled to the headquarters of the Divine Life Society in Rishikesh, India to soak up the teachings of Swami Sivananda. Activities are conducted here at the headquarters for visitors and devotees from around the world. Uh, so we don't we don't conduct activities. We try to deactivate them. <laughs> they are doing a lot of activities, so we ask them to stop all those activities and to remain peaceful, to remain quiet. Okay. Uh, we don't conduct activities. We don't do activities. All the activities are to make calm down you. Already there is a, not only the external activity, the mind is internally agitated. So to calm down those agitation is the process that is happening here. Okay. So we create an atmosphere wherein they, those who come here, they will become less active. So what can the devotees expect when they come to this headquarters? They, from without expectation, they should come here <laughs> so that they will achieve something. For Hindus, uh, the Himalayas is one of the holiest places to be at. So can you talk to me about the spirituality of this, of the Himalayas? <laughs> I want to know about the Himalayas. Our Hindu, well. everything, is everything is holy. Everything is considered as holy because the, the Creator and the creation are non-different actually. The creation is the manifestation of the creator. So everything is holy. Himalayas is that way Himalayas is holy. Now Himalayas is not the only mountain which is holy. Everything is holy. Yes. So Himalayas is one among that, so it is holy. The Ganga is holy because all the waters is waters are holy. Water is holy. Apapavitra Haritan. So him, uh, Ganga is holy. Mm -hmm. How can one achieve happiness? Happiness is not to be achieved. It is already there. It has to be found out actually, unfolded actually. Your nature is happiness. Your nature is peace. So, that somehow there are external disturbances. So, those external disturbances ceases, which you are self-made actually. If those things ceases, then happiness naturally is there. Mm. So, the search for happiness is actually a trial, an effort to remove those which are not which does not belong to us. Mm -hmm. So, sadhana is actually to bring in rest during activity. Okay. Uh, you do all the activity while you are in, in deep rest, well relaxed, in peace. I give an example. Mm. So one person is angry. Angry means what will happen? His BP will shoot up. His, there will be physical changes. His body language will change. His eyes will exhibit anger. Mm. The face contours will change. And his BP will shoot up. And different parameters in the body will change. Now, the same condition, if an actor is to do that. One man who is acting. Mm. So if he does that activity, all other para physical parameters will be okay. But internally he will not, that will not have any impact on him. 
if you are angry your digestive system will it affected mm. you will not feel hunger mm. but if an actor is exhibiting anger is showing anger and in a particular scene his mm. but his hunger will not get affected mm. he will be very hungry after that immediately you will go and eat nicely mm. Mm. why because that activity has taken place in when he is internally quiet internally quiet so the peace and activity peace rest and peace rest and activity should go together like to give our south african viewers back home from your side unwanted disease they should curb the happiness is not in money in other things happiness is your nature mm. so while you are <coughs> while you can search for happiness outside sometime you have to devote to see the happiness within which is much more profound than the external happiness no thing in the world outside will give you that happiness happiness is within only mm -hmm. so you can acquire all those things you can achieve all those things make life comfortable mm -hmm. but it is easy to be comfortable but it is not that easy to be happy mm -hmm. so comfort alone will not give you happiness so try to dive within and find out the joy that is there in you and share that joy with others Swami ji at the Sivananda Ashram in Rishikesh pointed out you can be at the foothills of the Himalayas the banks of the holy Ganga or back home in South Africa and still find pure bliss and happiness We end the show with a pleasant quote from Swami Sivananda This world is your best teacher. There is a lesson in everything. There is a lesson in each experience. Learn it and become wise. Every failure is a stepping stone to success. Every difficulty or disappointment is a trial of your faith. Every unpleasant incident or temptation is a test of your inner strength. And with that we bring the show to a close. Follow us on all our social media platforms and spread the waves of sadhana into the world. Hari Om.